Who were the top blues guitarists of the 1950s? Well, today, we'll find out. The 1950s brought us a wealth of talent in the blues genre, each artist adding their unique touch to the music landscape. Their influence was not confined to the blues alone, but permeated through rock, soul, and even pop music, shaping the sound of the decades to follow. These guitarists, with their innovative techniques and soulful rhythms, defined an era. So without further ado, let's dive into the top 10 blues guitarists of the 1950s. Starting from number 10, we have the dynamic Buddy Guy. With his inventive guitar playing and passionate vocals, Buddy Guy was more than just a guitarist. He was an innovator, bridging the gap between traditional blues and modern rock music, ensuring the timeless relevance of the genre. Next at number 9, we find Lightning Hopkins. Hopkins was renowned for his expressive finger-picking and storytelling abilities. His down-home blues resonated with audiences around the world. His performance is more akin to intimate conversations than mere concerts. Coming in at number 8 is Albert King. King's powerful bends and stinging vibrato made him stand out from the crowd. His distinctive playing style set him apart as one of the most influential blues guitarists of his time, leaving a legacy that continues to inspire. At number 7, we have Freddie King. A master of Texas and Chicago blues styles, Freddie King's fiery guitar solos and dynamic stage presence earned him widespread acclaim. His performances were electrifying, demonstrating the power of the blues to captivate and move. Finally, rounding out the first half of our countdown at number 6 is John Lee Hooker. With his hypnotic boogie rhythms and soulful vocals, Hooker's stripped-down approach to blues guitar influenced generations of musicians. His style was raw and authentic, a testament to the essence of blues itself. Now that we've explored the first half of our top 10, let's move on to the top 5. Kicking off our top 5, we have the energetic Elmore James. Known for his slide guitar technique, James's performances were always a spectacle of energy and passion. His recordings, filled with his signature slide guitar riffs, have left a lasting mark on the blues genre, inspiring guitarists for generations to come. Coming in at number 4 is the distinctive Howlin' Wolf. While his voice is often what people remember, his raw and primal guitar playing was also a significant part of his appeal. His music helped to define the sound of Delta Blues, with his guitar bringing an earthy, unfiltered sound that captivated audiences and influenced future blues musicians. In the third spot we find T-Bone Walker, a man often credited with pioneering the use of the electric guitar in blues. Walker's sophisticated playing laid the groundwork for many guitarists that followed him. His influence can be heard in the music of countless blues and rock musicians who took inspiration from his innovative style. Our runner-up is the incomparable B.B. King. Known for his expressive guitar style and emotive singing, King's influence on blues and rock music is immeasurable. His guitar, lovingly named Lucille, was as much a part of his act as his powerful voice. The number one position for the top blues guitarist of the 1950s goes to the pivotal Muddy Waters. His innovative guitar playing and powerful vocals influenced countless musicians. Waters was a driving force in the development of Chicago blues, transforming the genre with his raw energy and unique style. So there you have it, a countdown of the top blues guitarists of the 1950s. From Muddy Waters' innovative guitar playing to Buddy Guy's dynamic performances, these musicians left an indelible mark on the blues genre. These musicians not only shaped the sound of blues in the 50s, but their influence continues to reverberate through the music we listen to today. Thanks for joining us on this musical journey and keep the blues alive.